how this all came about so we were um i was recording the song and uh, i wanted to do a duet and i've always had stevie on my mind to do it and um you know for a little while we were going back and forth who should who should be on the on the record and and um and then one day i was going home from a concert uh, from a show and i and, and i was like you know i'm done i'm done this this has to be with my daughter. It just has to be. I I just feel it in my bones. So I'm on the plane and I texted her. I WhatsApp texted her, and uh, I said, "Hey, would you give me the pleasure of uh, singing with me on this uh, song, Angel Eyes?" And she responded, "Oh my God, yeah. I mean, are you serious?" And I and I wrote back, "Absolutely, I'm serious." And just yeah, I would love to do it. So when do you want to do it? And I said, this week. It's like, well, she lives in Maryland and I'm in Los Angeles. And I'm, mind you, I'm on the plane flying to Los Angeles. And it's about, I don't know, it's like uh, 8.30 at night, my time. And um, I'm halfway across the country. And I, um, and she said, okay, well, when do you need me to come in? And I said, tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, but mind you, I already bought the ticket. I bought the ticket before she even said yes, because I knew she would. And she goes, tomorrow, well, that's isn't that kind of close? I go, yeah, well, we got to get it done. It's got to get done now. And she says, okay, I'm in. Boom, I sent her a ticket. And it was a really funny little story, you know, between us. And uh, and she came in. She came in uh, that uh, late afternoon. She had some airplane problems. and um, But she made it. She made it like about all day travel and made it like 9 o'clock to my house. And... Well, we hugged and we had a beautiful glass of wine. And in the morning, we went to the studio and we started recording. And we recorded an amazing, gorgeous song. I am beyond, beyond uh, happy. And and Stevie, you you were you were my first choice, and that was it. And I knew you were going to be the person to do this with me. I'm so happy that we did it. We had a chance to do it together. And um, yeah, it's good. So... I, I mean, I've sang since I was little, but more than singing, I, I've i been doing a lot of my own visual art. So I do sculpture and I've really been doing that um, for over 10 years now and showing my work all over the country and really the world. So my dad and I, for a long time, even passed each other in different countries in Italy and Korea um, throughout my life which is pretty cool so different a little bit different obviously than singing but um I did get vocal lessons as a kid uh trained jazz singer and yeah so this was a really cool opportunity to do something with my dad Stevie and I you know we um we lost touch for a lot of years because of my past relationship it just was very difficult but uh, we lost touch for a lot of years and then one one day she just calls me like uh, I don't know like four years ago and she says hey uh, I want to see you and I'm like absolutely boom ticket <laughs> literally the next day no no exaggeration so I mean all of this is so so kind of meant to be you know what I mean she also does uh, painting like uh, she does a lot of paintings that are just just pretty remarkable you know I mean they're just they're real. I mean, she's a, she's a, um, she's a real deal. She's, she's got daddy's genes. <laughs> I was always the curious one of what's on the other side. Who's that person that I don't really know, but I got to listen to his music, um, like on my own, which was really cool. It's very different growing up as a kid, like not really knowing your dad fully right? But like knowing, knowing stories, but also he's a public figure, right? So like, I, I also got to see him in videos, see what he was doing, if I didn't get to physically see him, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, but it was beautiful. We spent um, some times together, though, and you were, there was always music whenever we would spend time together, right, dad? Like Thanksgivings and 
And it was just, I mean, it's always, it's always been a part of home life <laughs> music. So I think it really did. I think dad, you can kind of attest to that too. Um, I think putting aside, uh, I think the noise of Los Angeles mm -hmm. and the fun part of, you know, both being artists and whenever I go out to LA to see my dad, it's super fun. We get to go places and see great things and eat great food and all of these things. But um, this was really a time to sit and be still, be serious and just be there, just, just be there for each other. And I felt like that really deepened our relationship a lot. You know, she came for over, sure. she was in San Francisco for a wedding and she was coming over here for uh, her birthday. She's going to spend her birthday with me. However, she spent her birthday in the hospital with me. <laughs> so it wasn't really, you know, the, uh, how would I say the uh, most ecstatic version of uh, a birthday, but you know, it was, I think, you know, life, life throws things at you when you least expect and you did, just don't know, you just don't know. And uh, I'm just happy that um, it's really ironic that how it all worked out, you know, and, and she came and it was, it was fantastic. I'm, I'm really happy that you were there, Stephen. It was really beautiful. Yeah. And, and it really helped me a lot because I really didn't think I was going to make it a couple of times. It was, it was really heavy, this last run. I rewritten this song for that very, very reason for, uh, for my daughters and for um, the love for one, not just a, um, the original was, you know, I'll never let you go. It's, it's also, it is love for one, but it was more geared to a relationship, you know, where this is, literally a relationship between a friend and a friend between uh father daughter father son uh any anything to do with love you know and people passing and which is really heavy right now stevie's going through a difficult time because uh, her grandmother that she is taking care of and live with i mean all her life basically uh it just passed last week and I'm sorry that's exactly what I mean. I'll never let you go. That is what I saw and what it is. And it was just same thing, you know, with my daughters, no matter how long it was without us being together, I never gave up or I never gave up the faith. Absolutely not. That is 150,000% true. And this song is more than that. Absolutely.